Welcome back. You are live with Expresso. Take a look at those beautiful hairnets. We have seen so many of them this year as we strive to pack 100,000 meals for Mandela to honor in our small way the legacy of Tata Madiba. We've been joined by some amazing schools along the way. I'm going to introduce some of the learners that have been helping us on various levels. Um, first up with John, has been singing at a lot of our activations. He has the most amazing voice, but I'm not going to put you to work this morning. <laughs> I just want to have a, a quick catch up with you as well, representing CBC St. John's. We've got Isabella, Izzy. Um, who I love, who has been a superstar, and we've got Paige Flood as well, um, all learners from CBC St. John's. And then from the very beginning, uh, not just this campaign, but through all of our campaigns that we've done along with Rise Against Tangle, we've got Nicole Anthony and Tersha Forte. Tersha, thank you guys so much for coming through. I'm going to start with you, John. Yes, um, yes. I love you, dude. I love your energy. It's, <laughs> it's infectious. You. you are, I know, obviously an amazing talent. You can go online and check what this guy is all about. But being a part of this through a couple of our meal packs, yes. what has the experience been like for you? Wonderful, because I think you realize that you are part of something special. Um, you realize that you're doing a great thing, helping so many children, and I think that is just fantastic. Um, yeah. You are fantastic. I'm going to ask you to hand the mic down there to Izzy, Isabella. You're just the sweetest thing. I, I said during one of our meal packs, if, when I have a daughter, um, that I'm going to name her Isabella because I just love the name. There's something special about it. You are very special. How do you feel? Do you feel proud being a part of something like this? Yes. Why? Why do you feel proud? And hold that I, microphone I right up there. No idea. <laughs> <laughs> because you're awesome. Um, is this something that your school does a lot of? Because I'm getting a sense that you guys were quite comfortable being yes. involved. So I really appreciate you being here. Paige, I can see you desperate to grab that mic. Oh, you've got a microphone on at least. Um, looking at the funky badges, this is something that CBC do a lot of. Why is it important for you guys as a school? to be involved in campaigns um, like this? So CBC, we pride ourselves on helping others. And so every single day, CBC reminds us like how we should help others and how there are people that are less privileged than us. And so we always come together and we do events like this and we participate in events like this. And it's just something that CBC does. It's CBC's way. Um, I absolutely love it. And of course, we stand united, yes. linking arms with so many amazing schools. Lotus Secondary have got a very special place in my heart. Um, I know that we've obviously taken some of your learners to go and deliver meal packs before. You guys have seen firsthand where these meals go. Tersh, if I can ask you to, to please explain from your school's perspective how special it is to be a part of helping not other communities but our own community. So, um, our teacher, Mr. Isaacs, he has taught us since the beginning that to be generous and kind and to hand out these meals to people and children that the hunger is the perfect way. It is the perfect way. Nicole, I'm going to wrap up with you because yeah. I think you're probably the first learner that I associate with this. You've helped us in so many ways, but seeing the way that you were able to form a connection with the young people, that, especially the really little ones that we handed out our meal packs to, I think we did a handout in retreat in that area. What motivates you on a personal level to do this? I know the school is cool and everyone's doing it because it's great to be on TV, <laughs> but this is something that seems to be deeper for you. Why do you get involved with projects like this? Because it brings such a joy and honor to like see a smile on someone's face in need of this meal packs and to see the smile on their face when they receive the meal that they do not receive every day. And it feels like, yeah, it's, huh. Um, it is. I've been feeling that ah, morning, uh, feeling all morning, guys. Thank you so much for, for joining us to all of the schools. How are we doing, guys? I mean, um, so oh, that old last box is calling. We're going to wrap up just before the end of the show. Um, can we get a resounding cheer for our incredible learners, all of our amazing partners? We've still got our Friday dance on the way. Um, I think at that perfect moment, the last meal will go into the last box to make up our 100,000. But I'm so proud of you guys. Thank you so, so much. Don't know.